All right, I'm in a repository here that has been enabled for Copilot. Let's go ahead and see how that works. If we go over to this section, extension, inside of Code Spaces, we have GitHub Copilot Labs. And this enables us to have experimental features, including the ability to translate code. And we also have enabled GitHub Copilot. There's two versions, Copilot and Copilot Nightly. I have the latest version. We're gonna try both of these extensions. So in order to get, to get started here, let's go ahead and take a look at this GitHub Copilot Labs. What this does is allows us to translate code. So if I click on this, we can see that if I toggle this, it'll translate it. So in order to get started with it, what I can do is I can actually copy some code from an existing uh, repo. So I'm gonna call this uh, loops like this. And then I'm gonna go over to another uh, repo here and just grab a little bit of bash code. And I'm gonna put this into this file. So I'm gonna go over here, go to loops, paste it in. Now that I've got a little bit of bash, in fact, we can even run this. I can just uh, type in uh, bash loops. I love eating healthy snacks like this apple, right? We've, we've got this thing uh, ready to go. And now if I wanna translate this and I wanna understand what it would be like to do this in Python, I can go over to Copilot here. And if I go to language translation, look, it's pulled this up. So it's able to highlight the text here. Now Python would be a good one to play around with. So this is always a good idea to make it into a translate directory. So we can say make dir uh, translate copilot. And then we can move in these loops into translate copilot. That way everything's in the same directory. And then I can go into this translate copilot directory. And from here, if I ask copilot for a suggestion, it gives me a, a good example, right? And so I can now make a a uh, Python loops, and we can call this uh, pyloops.py. Do the same thing. We go over here and we can find our translate copilot, our pyloops, and let's just try it out. If I go ahead and I say Python pyloops, we get the same thing. So it really is a, a pretty awesome way to learn a new language, especially if you have competency with one. Uh, and it really gets you the ability to move very, very quickly. In fact, we can go beyond just Python and Bash. We can really quickly go back to Copilot here, and we can grab this code, and we can say, look, now I'd like to translate it into Ruby. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to Ruby here, and look, we also can do a very easy Ruby script as well. So we'll go ahead and, and do... Um, <coughs> Ruby loops, right? Dot dot rb, RB right? So so pretty straightforward process here to 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 translate between different languages, uh, and it and it really is a, a great experience. Now the next thing that I'll take a look at is how would we actually build out a more sophisticated um, workflow by having co pair programming with with Copilot, and that's really the the idea here is it's it's like another developer. So we're going to call this. Um, AI, AI pair, and I'm also going to well, well, let's make this directory called AI pair, and I'm also gonna gonna CD into that directory. Now, what I'll do inside of this this AI pair directory is I'm going to create a file uh, called calc, and this will be a, a file that we can actually ask Copilot to help us out with, and so. What I can do is even help the prompt here get a little bit better. And so we can say from here at the very top of the file, what it is we want, want it to do. We'll say add uh, this module is used to, to create calculation calculations um, functions such as addition subtraction right and, and the prompt will kind of get better and better as I as I tune it and we can also go through here and we can do this we can add the uh, shebang line which will tell it that we're also going to eventually turn it into a script and then we can actually go through here really quick uh, and make it executable so now uh, we, we should be able to just run it like this and so to get started 
look, it's it's pretty smart. It already knows what it is I want to do. And this would be similar, right? If I was saying this to a, to another human, and once we've got that one done, the subtract function comes in and so on and so on. Since we already have a couple, that's good enough. What I want to do now is start to tune the, the, the direction this code is going and also tell it I want it to build a command line tool. Let's say um, this uh, module will also be invoked as a command line script using click. And so now we're, we're again kind of seeding things here and we'll just say import click. And now to use this, all I would need to do is, is tell it that I wanna make a, a group. So I would say uh, build a click group and it would go through here and build out all the boilerplate code for me. So I don't have to write all this boilerplate code and it, it'll even help the, me write the suggestions. And we can and we can go through here and we can say uh, this is a calculator calculator app. There we go. And now that I've got that built, um, what what I can also do is now build out the commands. And it it's smart enough to know where I'm going, and and I just need to uh, be able to to be flexible and fill in the parts that it doesn't know how to fill out perfectly. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll build the second command, which in this case is smart enough to know the direction I'm headed and we're, we can actually go and build out the rest. There we go, subtract command is gonna use this. And now all I need to do to, to build this out is, is invoke it from the command line. Now, it, let's go ahead and try this out real quick. We can do help, we have the add function and we can do two and two, there we go. And we can say two and six, right? And we can also do the subtract function. Now, if we wanna make it a little bit fancier, one of the things that we could do that would be pretty easy is we could also make it printed out as color. So what I could do is I could just tell that to, to uh, our copilot, which has a lot of boilerplate code memorized and say, um, uh, invoke the add function with colored output uh, from click. There we go. And now it just tweaked it a little bit. Perfect. And then this one probably is going to be smart enough to know that I want to invoke it with colored output. Exactly. And now if I go back, we've got colored output, right, for each of these tools. So very, very straightforward way to use Copilot is to gently prompt it and have it build things for you. And uh, this uh, calculation tool, you can see how quickly it can help you build out boilerplate code.